Welcome to the Magma Classroom. This particular classroom series focuses on the basics of digital painting, starting with the fundamentals of value, shapes, light, and color. We've done a good few apples and spheres already in previous lessons, tried our hands at some more interesting still life studies, broken down simple landscapes, and even run a gauntlet of timed exercises to speed up the learning process. This weekly hangout is intended for the determined beginner, and we'll take our time to explore each subject and learn together. I'm your host Ryan, the resident painter and caffeinated Wookiee at Magma, and while I grab a tea refill here, you can find all the instructions for joining me on the canvas in the description below. Ready your drawing tablet, we'll be getting started shortly. Muted, unmuted. Okay, you should be able to hear me now. And okay, so welcome to the classroom. Again, we're back with doing some foil balloons. Let me just present my screen here. Share screen. We did a session on Monday where, yeah, the subject was foil balloons, something that was suggested by one of our regulars. Oh, you technology is uh, starting its business with me again. Um, it was a suggested subject, which was quite fun and challenging. We had to pay attention to sharp edges, some strong highlights, sort of hard edge highlights, you know, a very reflective surface. Okay, now where is this canvas? There we go. Uh, yeah, it was good fun. We had some great results, and we're going to take another crack at it. For those of you who couldn't join in that time slot on Monday, uh, just a glass of water, keep me hydrated while I waffle on about the topic. So you are welcome to join me on the canvas. All the details should be in the stream description. And I've set up a bunch of canvases down at the bottom here. So if you want to join along, you can grab one of those canvases. To bring up this little window here, there's this, uh, there's this film strip icon. And that brings up the... Uh, oh, I hope I gave the right the right canvas link. Let's have a look. Um, magma, magma, magma. So you can obviously draw with someone else on the canvas if you want to as well. If you've got a buddy joining you, you can share the, the canvas space over there. I have set our classroom. I've activated Blaze for our classroom attendees. So for the next 24 hours, you will have, you will have Blaze access. Well, thank you for joining and also let you play around with more of the tools here. Uh, that's kind of what we've got going. Um, so people who attend our streams will always get access to, to our Blaze stuff. So you can test it out, test it out and have some fun. Right, so let's, uh, let's get cracking, shall we? I'm going to leave the music off. Uh, it was also requested that people like to listen to their own music and don't want to compete with what I'm playing, uh, which is getting a bit repetitive. And, um, and also trying to hear my voice when I do take you guys through things. So the focus is going to be on the the main, the larger reference image. I put the other one there. If some people, some people work pretty fast. So if you knock this one out of the park in a short space of time, 
or if you paint a little longer than the than the stream, you're welcome to dive into the next one. I thought these colors were really cool on this one, actually. Uh, but this I liked because of the uh, the fact that it's slightly turned. So it's a bit different from the one that we covered in the last session. Hey, Everest, thanks for joining. Everest is one of our regulars. And Eyebrow, nice. Awake late or early, depending depending how you look at it. Yeah, it's bump up my brightness here a little bit. OK. So like I mentioned in our previous session, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can take a closer look. Uh, this is one of those objects that has quite a nice hard edge. So all the way, all the way around it, you're quite crisp edges, uh, but it does. That's just in the silhouette. The silhouette is really sharp, but we do have some some soft, softer transitions as we wrap around on the balloon. Um, not too gradual because it's not a super round thing. Uh, but there is a little bit of a, a change in these mm, sort of rounded planes that we have, right? So like that, and then into the top. Pay attention to that. Uh, the other thing is that the highlights are, are very strong, very hard edge, quite crisp. So yeah, with that, there's not going to be too much, particularly if there's, there's a, quite a strong light source, uh, that's going to be... That's going to be really sharp. Here we've got some reflection of the wall. So you, so it's not just light hitting it now. There's reflections. And you're going to have a bit of environment around it that slightly warps. There's like a little bit of, see here, this arm is incredibly long over here. So those kind of things you want to, you want to follow through that it's going to distort the, uh, the surroundings um, to follow the form of our balloon, which is very reflective. So yeah, I think that's that's enough to to get on with it. I actually need to get some music of my own in here. Do, do, do. The first thing I like to do with anything like this is to drop in a um, a background first before going in and sketching uh, the object. If I do plan to approach it with a, with a sketch, I just like to put down the background first, maybe an underpainting. Uh, with a sort of burnt sienna or something like that. Not necessary to do that, but at least get a background color down. Okay, here's my music, I think. Yes, thank you. Play, 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 play. Uh, so just a little reminder, if you are just joining the stream now and you want to come along, grab a canvas, all the deets are in the canvas description. You'll have to join the Magma Classroom Art Space first and then follow the link to the canvas. Da, 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 da. Play music, please. There we go. That's a bit loud. Julius, onward. So I'm going to start off with my pixel pencil. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to be weird here. I'm going to start with this burnt sienna color. As soon as I get rid of my canvas thing, form strip. You obviously don't have to do the same thing. That's not quite, that's definitely not a burnt sienna. It can be a bit browner, but that's fine. That's not a big deal. I just want a color down. Hopefully it all vibe through the thing a little bit. Let's get a nice light, I think it's got nice light blue background. Baby blue. That's even a bit strong. It's fine. Get in towards the bottom. This approach of doing a sort of um, warm underpainting, it's something that you'll notice a lot in traditional painting. And it's quite nice when you're using textured brushes because you even here, if you have the density kind of low uh, or you're working with pressure, then you'll see like a little bit comes through. It just adds a little bit of vibration to things. So if you are trying to go for that more traditional look, 
texture brushes, density to pressure. Okay, but I don't need to spend too much time here. This is a bit silly, a bit silly. And then, okay, let's sketch it out, sketch it out. Hope everyone's had a good week so far. Oh, my throat is so dry. We had a good time in the in the clubhouse last night. Thanks, Eyebrow, for your contribution post stream. Yeah, so um, we made some adjustments. Uh, those those brushes are no longer available. But we have we have uh, we have some new ones coming your way soon soon stay tuned stay tuned something that also has a bit of texture which hopefully you'll like <laughs> sorrow and joy yeah I like to keep things balanced that way. So I'm just trying to squint a little bit and pay attention to the shape of things. I'm not going to worry with like the hand and stuff here. That's that's not the important aspect. We're here to focus on the foil. Just trying to follow a bit of this form. This form here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Soon, soon. It's uh, it's not a lie. It's a tricky, uh, a tricky bit of thing. A tricky bit of thing. Uh, it's a tricky thing that that text tool. And our team has been our team's been at it for for a while. Many a challenge with it. But it's coming together. You'll trust me. You will know. It won't. Uh, it won't just sneak into the into the sidebar there. You'll know that it's. You'll know that it's there. Some things are always a little, a little trickier to, to program and integrate than than we realize. I know sometimes I've said to, to Voitag, oh, uh, oh, hey, Radak, Radak, I see you there as well. Um, oh, this will, it seems simple, right? You know, just to add this or that. And like, hmm, it's never quite so simple. Never quite. And my shape's a little funny here. You can always correct, it's not a big deal. It might be. No, it's made to behave like a standard a standard text tool. We'll be sure to tag everyone when we put out our little announcement about some some new features when that happens so that nobody misses it if you're tired of us pinging you oh well okay that's that's enough to work with Shape-wise, I did this on a separate layer, and then I'll on another layer below it. I will, I will uh, do my block in. Now it's a bit tricky to figure out a color for this because, you know, for like a block in, that's going to apply through most of it. But let's see, where's there not too much reflected color? Not too much reflected light. I mean, this is this area is probably the closest to the local color that we have. Do we have joining here? Carlo, welcome to the welcome to the stream. If you want to grab yourself a canvas, there there is one in the sequence. I should probably add another. Never sure how many people we're gonna get in, so. 
I've just created some duplicates. So if we have more people joining, there's some empty space. So I'm going to try and find the closest thing to the local Kalia, which is maybe goldy yellow, a bit more yellow, I think, uh, somewhere like this. Look, I can work with that. Maybe even add a bit more orange in there. Saturate a little more. There we go. Yes, there we go. That's better. But it's really just to have a base, and I'll make adjustments afterwards. Well, on top of that, not afterwards, just on top. Here as well, you can start doing everything with hard edge and then smooth things out afterwards because you've got some very distinct shapes to work with. So like in here, for example, is way more orange, hmm. slightly darker. If I check my values here. A slight shift from what's there. What more orange? And I'm just going to treat, like I said before, with with doing our values. I'm just going to treat the whole that whole area as one block of color and a slightly changed value. Grouping shapes, and then we'll. Um, Go deeper in as 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 we go along. So now the light here, we've got this reflection of the wall, which is getting a lot of light. And let's see if I lightly, very lightly, with a density set to pressure, just lightly dab on the um onto the yellow of the balloon. You know, I can get a approximation of change in in color now I just took what was on the wall next to it dabbed and then I can work from there maybe go slightly lighter so it's not quite to that yellow it's sort of sort of a bit closer to the cooler range and while it is getting a bit of that blue green it's really it's like a kind of gray it's not very saturated Ah, oh, orange is an amazing color. Okay, then the, let's see. The next shape, let's say, is the sort of uh, broader, broader dark shape. Hmm. Um, I have been looking more at warm colors. I'm kind of feeling red at the moment. Uh, oops. I've got a piece that I'm working on that I'm that's like reddish purples. Uh, yeah, red to like a red purple plum, deep plum kind of color. Which I, have, I haven't quite got it to where I want it to be. that piece. I think it needs some stronger, really uh, saturated red in there somewhere. Okay, that's that's quite dark. Let's come up slightly. But this is a very dark shape. Okay, let's make this bigger because I'm being so slow about painting this. Broadly filling in. I suppose I don't need my. Oh, it's almost almost black. Yeah, really dark. 
Uh, the other thing to to pay attention, just for those who are, who weren't in the last session, uh, there's a there's a lot of like tension and stretching going on on this balloon. It's not just a round form; it's trying to it's trying to fit to a shape. So it's pulling in all sorts of interesting ways. So you're going to have those lines, pieces. Let's make that a bit bigger. Pieces that sort of follow the form and define it quite nicely. Lots of them over there. So that's where the really fun detail comes in. You can spend quite a bit of time. I had the intention of leaving the house today to go and take a photo of some real balloons, but uh, didn't get around to it. It probably would have been quicker than hunting around on Pinterest and do all that for the kind of balloon pictures I was, I was going for. But managed to find something. I quite like this one. It's a lot of the balloons. <laughs> it's all these cheesy... It's a boy, or happy 50th birthday, or hearts. Just so many heart-shaped balloons. Not that I have anything against it. It's just a bit cheesy. I was hoping to find more outside in the wild. But a lot of them is like for indoor decor purposes. Let me get rid of my sketch layer or drop the opacity of it. Wild balloons are indeed dangerous, especially for turtles. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. This would explain things. higher we've also got a bit of shadow behind the balloon obviously to pay attention to to that it's uh what's happening within the way of color i mean it just sort of gains a bit of saturation and drops in value that actually loses loses saturation cools gets nice and dark So I don't want to color pick from there. I want to color pick from my layer. So it is quite dark. Let's shift over a bit. So what is that message there? <laughs> yes. It's all this technology, still we find ourselves on the wrong layer. True that. Don't give me Firefly. Give me a layer. A layer. I don't know. What what did we need? How would it how would it work practically? Okay, now this shadow is also quite soft underneath. And the shadow is necessary to define the shape of this whole thing. Because you can notice. With the with this section on the top left, the value is really similar with the reflection on the balloon to the wall behind it. Uh, so it kind of blends in 
quite a bit. Could even lighten up this edge a bit more. Uh, why can't you tell what layer I want to be on? I'm still... That's why I, I do generally prefer... I mean, I'm a painter, so it's it's fine. Like This works well for me to just work on one layer. Not ideal if you're doing stuff for clients. You know, <laughs> there's something to be changed. Uh, then, then you'll be kicking yourself, wishing that you'd worked with multiple layers. Can you move that building just like a, a centimeter to the left? What? Starts painting from the beginning. And yeah, with the shadow, it's quite soft. So just take note of those edges. Sort of fades into the thing as more light starts to fall in. Go a little bit darker even for the edge. Yeah, nice work with those um, combined creatures you did, Abrael. And there's so many different types of creature and texture to deal with there. Must have been, must have been fun. Challenging, but fun. <laughs> when the client says just, then you know you're in trouble. Yes, yes. That is true. I need to get some stronger highlights in here as well and carve into it a bit more. I've made my shape a little too big. Bob, I have to commend you if the the task was to make one and you did a whole lot. That's that right there is a good quality. And it'll set you apart, I think, when it comes to the industry. Always go beyond what what's required. I get a bit lazy, <laughs> so I struggle with that. I don't think it's lazy. I also like have the attention span of a freaking goldfish. So this needs to soften out here. Ooh, I still didn't get around to seeing it. I've got my tickets booked for, for Spider-Man this weekend before our stream. Because for me, the stream is at night. So I'm going to an afternoon show. Cross the Spider-Verse. Ah, oh, so, so keen. Yeah, with Guardians, oh, man. Their creatures and characters have done so well. But I think at the rate I'm going, I'm going to miss it at the cinema. So I'll have to wait for it to come to Disney Plus or something. It should, it should, it should come there. Please give me the Guardians. Okay, then obviously there's the balloons inside the balloons as well. That would be interesting. Just let's get a bit darker in here.
Yeah, the costumes for Guardians also look really cool. So I'm going to merge my line layer down, or can I get rid of it entirely? Let's get rid of it entirely. <laughs> Go bonkers with the visuals how? Just sort of over the top effects or it just gets like a lot going on? All of the above perhaps. Yeah, see, so we've got some people joining the stream. If you guys want to join in the study and you're only connecting now, that's fine. There should be some canvases available down below. Yep. So if you want to come along and draw, check the, the stream description. All the deets are there. Biotech. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, let's get let's get these red balloons in. Nine and nine red balloons. What's my value situation like here? Zoom out. Always good to zoom out. I could even go darker. I could even go darker. Certainly in the shadow below. My silhouette's not sharp enough. Okay, okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. So let's get these balloons in. I am enjoying doing all of this with uh, Atomic Heart. No, I haven't seen that. Um, enjoying trying to do all these different different subjects using the Pixel Pencil Brush. I'm trying to, oh, let's just get a general shape in here. Okay. It is, it is an unlikely choice for, for some of these things. I've got some light reflecting on them. Hmm. Known to be square, <laughs> yes. It's more in the the edges that get me. And then we've got an arm in there. This person holding them. So having having suggested that we tackle this, Abral, are you have you are you satisfied with how you've handled the the material? Ooh, cool. Yeah, that, that makes for some fun fun stuff to draw.
Yeah. Yeah, getting that, getting those creases and those wrinkles right. Whew. Okay, that was a bit of an excessive line. There we go. Let's go back. Could even come in a bit more here. Oh, my brush is so tiny. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. It's actually a little bit of a lighter side. And I, I had this issue underneath where I want that to be a little darker. <laughs> Give me a smudge tool. Yeah, that's another one of those freaking ones requested. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with where this is going. I haven't, I've barely touched my drawing tablet today, so I'm glad that I was quite eager to, to get into the classroom and start painting. I feel like I'm off to a bit of a better, better start than I have been in previous sessions. Yesterday, <laughs> I had such a hard time yesterday with the, the clubhouse. All my technology, I thought before the stream, hey, let me, let me just restart the computer uh, give it, just let it freshen up before we start. Boy, was that a bad idea. Everything stopped working. <laughs> it started having internet issues, which were fine. The whole day it was fine. Then my mic was being weird. And then my second screen kept cutting out. Uh, yeah. And I got disconnected from the stream twice. But today has been better. Today has been better. It could have been. It could have been. The internet gets a little temperamental here. I think that was the the, the core of all my issues. Hey, DPO, welcome to the canvas. This can even come in further. Just a little reminder as we're working on all of this that blaze is up is available for 24 hours so if you if you do want to work on this but you're not going to be back on the canvas within the next 24 hours be sure to download the you can export your canvas as a psd and then you can work on it outside of the time uh, ah thank you thank you Because what happens is that we have limited access across the across the sequence panel. Only the first four canvases are available to non-Blaze subscribers, which is why I suggest the the saving, the exporting. Or you can sneakily grab it next time you join in a different classroom. Uh huh. That too. Can you move? Um, can you move a canvas while it's once you lose access, so you can't open the canvas? Can you still click and drag the canvas over while you're on a different one? If it's later in the sequence. So for those who don't know, Radek is part of part of the team <laughs> and knows a bit more on the backside. Okay, cool. I'm gonna set up my free account so I can also just go and check these things. Mm -hmm. uh, this bit is kind of more orange. Uh, thanks, DPO, for putting a call out to the community on Discord to come through and add their mark to the Clubhouse canvas. Didn't have as big of a turnout for this one. Maybe everyone's uh, saving themselves for for Saturday. 
I have to put out a little promo clip later. Should be finished with it after the stream. It's looking pretty cool, though. I like that the background got uh, got some treatment. Not just the... I mean, the idea was to just do the train. Uh, but then, yeah, and people people came through on the, on the background. Mountain Pirate. I did see... Yeah, Eyebrow added after the, the stream. And... Someone added the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I was super stoked to see. Yeah, he just came through with much bolder colors than I put down. It's very cool. Should make a sticker out of it, Eyebrow. Oh, was that you? Okay, cool. I couldn't I couldn't quite see on the layers who had done it. Because it was down in the corner. How are we doing for time? Oh, we still got 20 minutes. Cool. So we can actually I, I can actually get stuck into the creases a little bit this time. Oh yeah. Uh, there's a a graffiti artist by the name of I think it's Night Owl, but I can't recall if the spelling was I think it was Night Owl. Well, I'm getting confused with some character from a movie. Nate 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 Ah, I'm getting confused with with another character or a Pokemon. That's what's going on in my head right now. Uh, I'm probably going to have the name be wrong. Makes these cool owl stickers. This is his main, his main character. My, my best mate growing up, uh, his mother had such an obsession with owls. So if I go visit, there's always owls at the, on the... What, what was it? Like some kind of... Um, yeah, like a little display unit in the entranceway. And a backlit light that had this this owl with the moon behind it. This glass backlit thing. It was very cool. But I can't uh, can't see an owl now or, or like a little owl souvenir anywhere and be like, ah, oh, Auntie Christina would dig this. Oh. Ah, the, the the name is secondary. That's cool. Will this be your first mural? Or uh, I think you you asked this to someone in the chat. I think, but it wasn't me. Um, my magma art, I don't really store anywhere. I haven't been doing a lot of like finished stuff in here. I tend to do a lot of studies in magma, uh, stuff like this, or like painting animals and that kind of thing. But I haven't been making much of my own painting for a long, a long while. It takes me a while to get through a piece. Um, so I did have just a free WordPress site that I was putting stuff up on every now and then and put on social media, but I don't really post. I don't really post much on social media now. My focus has just been trying to get better at, at painting and not worry too much about posting because I feel like I was getting, I don't know, too too focused on what what the results of my posting were. And it's just no good. So I do want to set up a more like professional site, but I want to build up some some fresh work first. And now I'm mostly just posting on YouTube if I'm creating some some work. 
it kind of be, forms part of the background of my videos. Maybe that's a feature we can request for, for Magma. Profiles, user profiles within, uh, you can select, you can select to have a few works as your, maybe like oh, three artworks as your kind of like mini portfolio, just so people can see the kind of stuff that you can do. Oh, cool. Okay, so you've got some wall experience. Nice. Yeah, painting walls is a lot of fun. So 1000 released a new video uh, yesterday. We was painting up uh, a mural in his new studio space. Just cool to see uh, from his video, he was saying that it's been about six months since he last painted a wall. And I've been kind of missing his mural videos. I do enjoy those. It's, it's cool to see the process. He's been doing a lot of in-studio stuff. Drawception. I'm going to make a note of that here. Let's take a look. I feel like I'm getting into a much better habit of painting these days just because of all the live streams, <laughs> which is great. Pretty grateful for that. I do do all kinds of other stuff. I feel like a, I have like a, I have a routine of painting now starting to to form uh, that's tied in with the Magma live streams. It's kind of interesting how things have played out that way. Social media icky, yeah. Uh, why is that not loading? Yeah, I think I also got to a point where, okay, the social media thing, meh. Um, as much as I'm more an independent type of artist and all that, I thought hmm, it might be interesting down the line to maybe do do something with games, maybe. So maybe I should learn a little bit of prop art, uh, like prop design. No, I just like so many things that I don't, sometimes don't know what to do. <laughs> Why is this not loading? Google, go to Google. But what I tried to do with the tablet reviews Okay, I'm not hosting the my the art anyway in particular, but tablet reviews are always trying to do like a more serious artwork with them as part of the review. To see if I can do the same level of work that I'm used to with the tablet. Usually usually I can. Hmm. Hmm. I dig the art for games like that. Someone else I have to design the game. It's not... uh, we could probably lighten up a bit of this side here. Have you guys been seeing the awesome new artwork being released for the um, Magic the Gathering Lord of the Rings? uh thing it's been absolutely phenomenal work that's being shared on twitter i can't remember the name of the the, the pack i don't follow too much the the details of of the release i just know it was this lord of the rings uh focused thing and ah oh, just the paintings that people have busted out for that next next level
like angry inspiring stuff you're just like oh my god uh let's see i could tell you mm. i think if you just go magic the gathering lord of the rings uh it's a it's a new thing and if you're on twitter you'll see you'll see plenty there I don't know if the guys have been posting, um, if people have been posting on our station or not. I don't know why my Google's not working. It's so strange. It's so strange. Yep, there we go. Nah, I've lost my connection. Oh dear. Curse you. So I don't know. I don't know if anyone can hear me now. I've disconnected from the canvas. And my internet, come on, what is going on here? Refresh, bright screen. Let's see if I can get back onto the canvas. Da, 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 da. I might have to. Um, I'm going to go get a SIM card for a different network tomorrow because uh, I don't. I can't have this on Saturday. I can't. Have, I can't have the Spider-Man stream interrupted. Uh, okay, let's change networks. I might uh, completely disappear for a moment while I figure this out. Oh, why is it not showing my face? Why are you not showing it, man? Uh, da, 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 da. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I am back. I am back. At least this didn't happen too early on in the stream. Yeah, the study buddies, that's right.
He's got a really cool community around him. And I, th I think I've only ever watched one of the study buddies things. I've, I haven't like participated because the, the time doesn't often doesn't work for me. Uh, okay, I'm trying to draw in a hidden layer apparently. There we go. Uh, also one of our occasional fellas in the clubhouse uh, wins does a session on Saturdays. So if, you, if you're looking for something to do on Saturdays, he's also got uh, a thing over there. Let me share a link to that. I'll share a link to that at the end of the session just because I don't trust my system right now to behave. Now, this is quite yellow, orange, yellow, orange, golden. It's a mix of everything. Uh, what I am missing in here is crisper, or these like the edges are on the silhouette. So I might have missed some of the conversation. Uh, DPO, did you manage to see some of the Lord of the Rings work? Yeah, next, next level. I think for a lot of people, magic was also one of the things that inspired them to draw and learn to paint. A card art in general, video games and card art. In high school, I'd be drawing uh, various things from uh, Warcraft. Warcraft 3. Why, why, why do you do this to me? Uh, it's connected. Okay. So why? Magma the card game. Huh. Could be a thing. Maybe we'll get the, get the Magma team to make, make a full on video game. Yes, trust this computer. Why are you asking me the same questions all the time? So we're coming up at the end of our of our time. Ah, uh, balls! My technology is giving me grief. Come on, connect! Don't don't misbehave. Uh, so you're welcome to keep painting, of course. There we go. <laughs> ah! Trying to use my iPad as a second screen, but it keeps disconnecting. And when it does, my main display flashes at me. OK, so I think I'm going to maybe stop the stream, but I will stay in chat. Uh, and continue painting a little bit. My wife's busy with a class now, so I can I can keep painting for a while until she's done. And I want to work on this just a little more. So thank you everyone for for joining. Um, this is this has been cool. I don't know what we'll do next week yet. Uh, I'll find something. Maybe we'll maybe we'll yeah maybe some do some rocks again. Find like or like cool gemstones. Seeing as 
seeing as eyebrow is going to go check out some gemstones maybe that that can be a focus next week we can figure out how to tackle some colorful stones uh yeah so for anyone watching who's not participating thank you very much join us on saturday for the the first clubhouse on the weekend at long last after much much planning and much uh, requesting it's gonna happen so pull in 11 a.m central daylight time and then next week we'll be back with more classroom sessions um, so yeah i'll dive back into the canvas in a moment